What's the next step? Simply talking about MS-13 won't beat them. Tim Sini is police commissioner for Suffolk County on Long Island, and he joins us tonight. Uh, Tim, thanks a lot for coming on. Oh, thanks for having me, Tucker. Why has MS-13 grown so much in the last 10 years? You know, there's, there's likely a variety of factors. Uh, there's no question that MS-13 uh, preys on uh, the immigrant community. Uh, in fact, uh, they in particular prey on unaccompanied children who come to this country uh, illegally and then are placed uh, in our communities. And the Suffolk County Police Department, working in collaboration with our federal partners, uh, is dedicated to decimating this gang. Are the feds going to help you? Absolutely. You okay, so you're confident the Attorney General's announcement today means progress in the fight against MS-13? Whenever you have the top law enforcement official in the country come to your community and uh, commit to eradicating uh, a dangerous gang such as MS-13 and then ask local officials how can we help, uh, that's a good day for your community. Uh, we had a very productive discussion today about law enforcement issues, about how the federal government can further assist us in our mission of eradicating MS-13. and several Several specific uh, requests were discussed, uh, several sp specific topics were discussed, and it was a great meeting. We had the, uh, the heads of all the local departments in the room. We had our federal partners there, uh, and of course, attorney, the attorney general and his team. Right. So I don't know how free you are to be totally candid since we're on TV and you're still holding office, but it seems like politics is playing a pretty ugly role in all this. When you have protesters by the side of the road, accusing the federal government of cracking down on all immigrants when they're going after one of the most dangerous criminal gangs in the country, does that distort your ability to be able to address this as a, as a, as a criminal matter? Talker, there's no question that politics, unfortunately, creeps into the discussion of law enforcement. And I benefit from the uh, position of being police commissioner. I don't have to uh, deal in politics. Uh, that's a good thing for me. I just have to focus on the mission, get the job done. Many of those protesters uh, out there were people who I work with on a daily basis. Uh, we have different perspectives about uh, certain things, obviously. But uh, these are people who uh, we work with. Uh, and the message I sent to them was, look, this is the attorney general of the United United States. He's coming to our community to uh, ask how the federal government can assist in eradicating MS-13 from our community. Uh, and we had a very productive session today with all of our law enforcement partners. And I really do believe uh, that something good is going to come out of that meeting. Does the governor, government of El Salvador play any role in this? I think okay. about half of the arrested MS-13 members come from that country. It started there, apparently. It's controlled, at least in part, from El Salvador. What's the government's role in that? No question. And this is an important piece. And this is why local law enforcement officials throughout the country need to be working with their federal law enforcement partners. Uh, we need to fight this battle on all fronts. That, that includes uh, dealing with certain issues in foreign countries. And obviously, a local police department, we don't have the jurisdiction or resources to right. do that. Uh, so we're going to be working with uh, assets uh, throughout, the, throughout the world uh, to, to tackle this issue and to and to deal with it both outside this country and inside this country. And it's going to take uh, all hands on deck. It's going to take a multifaceted approach. Uh, and it's going to take a lot of resources, which is why today's meeting uh, was, uh, was so promising, because we talked very specifically about what type of resources. And uh, a lot of folks had good suggestions, uh, and we had a good, good discussion. Well, good. Because when 92% of those arrested are from a foreign country and foreign citizens, it's a foreign threat, I would say. Uh, Mr. Commissioner, Commissioner Sini, thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you very much.